My name is Corey Lefkowitz, and I'm the captain of the Pirates of the Silver Realm. Okay. My uh, handle that I go by, the nickname that most pirates do get, it's Dogfish Brigands. And this is Tova on my shoulder, Green Wing Macaw. Uh. Okay, reenacting, becoming a character or a persona, somewhat like Chautauqua. Chautauqua is first person. Reenacting is putting on clothing and becoming a character, whether you're in fantasy, whether you're accurate, living a past day's life, creating and exploring a certain time period. This is what I enjoy. I enjoy reenacting. I enjoy watching other people, learning from what I, what I teach them about the, about the Golden Age of Piracy or the French and Indian War, you know, history in general. It's a deep spiritual connection with history um, you don't just, you know, you can wear the clothes and go out and drink and party and, and just have a good time. I don't look at it like that. I look at it as a deep connection, as if you're religious, whether it's Judaism or Christianity. You know, it's a deep connection. What you're trying to do, what you're trying to, you're, my persona and my character is me. It's not just a hobby, it's a way of life. It, it becomes your life. You know, you live a pirate lifestyle. Pirates, a pirate was just a person that robbed on the water. They're just people, all, just like we are today. So Pirates of Silver Realm is a pirate crew, and we emphasize on being period accurate. Uh, we have members that are just starting out, and we give pointers and we give tools how to achieve a nice kit, and there's a progression of getting involved into the living history festivals that we do. So we are a pirate group and we go to many festivals. I do many historical programs. We set up a traveling museum display with weapons and effects and accoutrements, tents. Sort of like if a, a ship were to careen and you were to clean the barnacles off the hull, you would set up a field encampment on the beach and we set up an encampment based off of that. It's a family group. We have kids, we have adults, teenagers. We cover all aspects of basically family life. I'm a merchant trader slash captain. We have entertainers, play music. We have people that cook. We have people that do different trades. We basically do displays and presentations at festivals. The entertainment, the colorful displays within the festival, whether it's the food, or whether it's the actors' camps, or whether it's the museums like what we put up, or whether it's just the camaraderie. I mean, it's, it's feeling part of something else and getting away from the nine to five. And when you go to a festival, it's, you become happy. You, you get out of the nine to five, you just, it changes the whole way you look at life, you know, you go down there and you start getting into it, it, it becomes a fun, adventurous journey. Uh -huh. That's great. I have been doing it full time. I just haven't been able to make a living at doing it. I have to still drive a truck, working 60 hours a week doing that, on top of doing this during the summer months, spring months, and fall months. Um, it, beca it, it becomes difficult. I would start today and do it. It comes down to the entertainment factor. It's getting into the gigs and getting into the stuff, but it takes money to do all that. And it, it's a struggle. It, it definitely is a struggle. Uh, the people who entertain and do it, they struggle doing it. You know, it's, it's, you can do it, but you have to sacrifice a lot. Now I've had family help me out, girlfriend help me out. Um, it becomes a, a collaboration of a bunch of people. But over the years, probably close to a million. Uh, all, my, all my savings is invested in the effects, the, the guns, the weapons, the, the tents. Um, this is not a cheap hobby to do, just like anything else. This gun here is a $600 gun, just for the gun. The, the weapons and the accoutrements are probably the biggest cost. This is a $1,000 smoothbore, 62 caliber. Musket. They call it a canoe gun. This is the real deal right here. It's affected me enough. I'd rather go out and do the pirate stuff than work. And so my passion and dedication and commitment is to reenacting and not so much the other way around, where most people would say, well, you should have a job and then do the reenacting. But the passion and the commitment of doing it for so long is what's carried me and kept me, kept me going. Now, I don't think there'll ever be a time I don't do it. Maybe when I'm in the hospital and I can't do it.